Hi and welcome to the fourth and final video in this Getting Started with Pyara Server series. My name's Cuba, I work as an apprentice software engineer here at Pyara and in this video I'm going to be showing you the process of deploying an application on Pyara Server. If you haven't already seen the first three parts of this series, I advise you go back and watch those first as they'll get you up to speed with what we're going to be covering in this series, show you how to install the software we need, and also show you how to start and stop the Pyara server through two different methods. We're going to be looking at three different ways to deploy the application today. We'll be looking at deploying through NetBeans, deploying through the CLI, and finally deploying through the admin console in your browser. So with all of that set up, let's get started and jump straight into NetBeans. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to be walking through in depth the creation process of the application, as the main focus is to show you the different methods of deployment on Pyara Server. I'm going to be using the same method in this video as we used in our Getting Started with Pyara Micro series. So if you'd like more information about how the creation process works and the ways that you can vary the application, please feel free to go and watch the third part of that series. So, to create the application, I'm going to go over to the project window, right click, select new project, I'm going to select Java with Maven, and a web application, I'm going to press next, I'm going to call mine Pyara Server Hello World, press next, and here we're going to set our server to be the Pyara server instance that we created in the last video with the Java EE version of Java EE 8 web. Then press finish. So you can see down in the console things are going to start happening as it builds our project for the first time. This is going to ensure that we have all the dependencies we need for this project downloaded and the basic project is going to be created and ready for deployment. Now that we have the project built can right click again and simply press the run button. This will automatically start up an instance of Pyara server and we'll be able to go and find our application at the URL we expect it to be at. So you can see now that I've headed to the local host colon 8080 slash Pyara server hello world which is the name of my project. You can see that we have the hello world application has been deployed and we have access to the web page that we expect to be there. We can of course administer the server in the same way as we did last time by heading to the servers, clicking on Pyara server and telling it to stop, to stop the domain. This will not undeploy your file, the application will still be deployed to the server and will be accessible the next time that you start the server up. The joy of the integration tools that we have with NetBeans and Pyara means that we can automatically update our application on Pyara server whenever we make any changes. We simply have to go, right click, clean and build again, and rerun the application to redeploy it. And that's how you deploy an application using NetBeans and Pyara server. Next, let's move on to the command line interface. Okay, so now we're moving on to deploying an application through the command line interface. We're going to want to make sure that we're in the directory that we have our Pyara install at, same as in the last video when we were starting and stopping the domain. We want to be in the bin directory so that we have access to the as admin tool. First thing we want to do is start the domain so that the domain is running. Okay, so once our instance of Pyara server is started up, to deploy onto Pyara server through the command line interface, we simply type dot slash as admin and then use the deploy command. We then want to follow this with the directory that we have our application we want to deploy at. In the case of our Hello World application, this will be under the project that we created, slash target, slash the name of the application. Simply then press enter and it will start to deploy the application onto Pyro server. You can see that when the deployment has executed successfully, it will show that the command has executed successfully in the log. As before, we can now head into the browser, navigate to localhost colon 8080 forward slash and the name of our application with the version, and you can see that we have the access page that we're expecting. 
Okay, so now finally, let's move on to how to deploy an application through the admin console itself. So the first thing we want to do is make sure to start our Pyara server domain instance. We can do this using any of the preferred methods in the previous episode. Once we've done this, we can navigate to localhost colon 4848. This will automatically reload the page and take us to the admin console. To deploy an application, we'll head over to the Applications tab on the left-hand side of the screen and click the Deploy button. This will then give us the option to choose a file to deploy to the server. If we click this, we can then navigate through our file system to find the application that we wish to deploy. In this case, our Hello World application. Click Open. And then we can leave everything up here as default. It will automatically recognize the type of application that it is that we want to deploy. We can then click OK. And that's as simple as that. The application is now deployed on Pyara server. We can access the application by clicking the launch button and then selecting one of the URLs that it gives us. And as you can see, we have access to the page that we expected to be able to get to. So that brings us to a close for this Getting Started series with Pyara Server. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the bottom of this video, or send us a message through our Twitter, or via the email on our contact page at the website. Thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next series.